Mm, this is a big girl, y'all. Structure on point. Hey. Hey, mama. It's okay. I know you're starting to come shake that weird. It's my bitch, y'all. It's my big girl, Naira, man. Our most dangerous dog I got. But she's a good dog, though. She loves me. She just don't fuck with her female. Your dog tail ain't moving like this when you fucking with him. They scutter you. All right. Your dog ain't licking your face. Ain't licking your face. Ain't scared to get out on your face. They scutter you. And they tail ain't wagging. They scutter you. Hey, you crazy bitch, you. As y'all know, whenever I do confirm puppies, or whenever I do confirm that the female is pregnant. She becomes a full-time house dog. Other times, I'm going to spend nights inside. As y'all can see, you've seen the video. If you follow my Instagram, you know that whenever the weather is all fucked up, they come inside. When the weather's not fucked up, they be outside. They love being outside. Now you want to go outside? You okay, mama? All right, you okay? All right. As y'all can see the scars on her face, listen, scars on her face take longer to heal because she's steady licking. So her face would have been healed up, but it's the fucking lip, it's the fucking face. It's the first thing she licks. She always licking her face. Although it's not in pain no more, there's no scars on it. It's pink because it has to heal. But it will heal. Especially like through pregnancy and shit like that. And with the vitamins and shit she's taking and the prenatal and shit I'm gonna get her on. Face will heal faster, but you wanna fight, you get fucked up. That's kinda how I go. But other than that, she's good, man. And she's happy. Look at that tail. That tail is all. That tells it all. Fuck what anybody got to say. The tail tells everything. Then she has a discharge come out of her. Come on, go outside. Give you some water. So yeah, man, uh, that was just a little short video. I mean, letting y'all know that Nyla, she's pregnant for sure. It ain't no guessing, ain't none of that shit no more, man. She's, uh, she definitely took, which is a beautiful thing, which is I'm very, 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 very happy about. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get this camera set up. So yeah, Nyla took, I'm so happy about that. I'm so happy about that. Um, so yeah, man, I've been looking at YouTube and been tapping in and um, just, as y'all know, I do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't get into what other people got going on. I don't, cause I just don't, I'm gonna be honest y'all. I don't really give a damn. All right. Um, so I run across different breeders and shit on YouTube. I try to get in they, you know, get on their chat, show love and shit. And, uh, yeah, man, I ain't got nothing to say about no, no, nobody else, man. Uh, I don't give a damn what nobody else got going on. But listen, Nyla fucking took. So listen, we got a few puppies available. Nyla back at the door. Right back in. Sit 
Alright, so yeah. Nyla and this bitch. Well yeah, man, so Nyla took. I'm thinking uh, um if I can go back and look. I'm gonna go back and check y'all, man. I gotta go back and look. Cause I usually keep all this stuff noted. But like the first day that they walk, um I gotta look, man. I'm so bad with, I'm listen, y'all. Oh, man. I'm trying to do the best I can with the. Oh, I'm leaning. Oh, so yeah, we 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 um. Hold on a second. I be getting emails all the time when people asking me questions about the dogs and shit, or not even about my dogs, but just about dogs. Period. So I'm always having to check emails and talk about the messages and just, it's always something. Um, which is cool, you know, I don't have any problems with asking people questions. This is what I'm here for. I'm here for the experience that I got and to put it on y'all, you know what I'm saying? All right, so somebody wrote me the other day. I'm replying back to you, his name is Mason G. All right, so beautiful dogs, man. Keep grinding. Quick question. Would you breed a standard to an XL bully? The question was, would you breed a standard to an XL bully? Um, There's no right or wrong answer. I think you should do what the f you want to. So what I told him was, I said, of course, whatever you breed should be specific to what you're trying to do for your program. Don't follow trends. Trends die. Be specific. Be specific. So right now we're gonna the vi this video is just about being specific, okay? Whatever you're trying to do with this game and this bully game or whatever game you in, whatever you're doing in life, I think you should be specific. Stick to something. Find some. Have a clear vision. What I don't know is everything I do is documented. I'm talking about everything from daily chores to oh not that. Daily chores, every day, from what time I fed the dogs, everything. Everything is documented. Feed, like, fucking clean my car mother. My first thing on, on all my list is to call my mama. But yeah, clean the outside kennels, inside kennels, just daily chores. It's not no weekly thing. Daily, oh, I don't want to say daily agenda, but it's daily chores, man. Daily chores for the first, it's pretty small. Right. Daily chores. Oh, that's a freestyle. Daily chores. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I usually keep everything documented. So I'm thinking Nyla, if I go by my documentation, I gotta find this. I gotta find this. What the fuck? The first rock. Okay. This goes back like a month. I mean, I think it's. I think the day is a, a week after a month. So I think she's going into her her fifth week. And as you can see, her fifth week, her ribs are showing, her spine is showing. Um, she's looking heavy. So this is usually. There's usually a time after a month is when everything starts showing. So if I took her to the vet at four weeks, which was last last week, they would have told me that she was pregnant. I, you know what I'm saying? They would have gave me an estimate on how many puppies it would have been and shit like that. But um, I don't have to. I don't have to do that. Most of my dogs are very, very, very healthy, and um. Yeah, I don't really have to do all that. So listen, let me see. Let me see. Let me go to where they locked. And I can tell y'all specifically what they I think. Okay, so... January 1st, so what are we in? This is January 7th, so look, 
Today is January 7th. The first lock was January 1st. So, I'm thinking, if I go by the dates, I try to give it between 60 and 70 days because, you know, that's kind of how it usually go. But, so they log January 1st. That was on a Saturday. So, the puppies are projected to come between March 5th and March 12th. Make sure I keep all the documented. March 5th, between March 12th. So, first week of March, as you guys know, okay, the, the January started on a Saturday. So it's not like a full week. It's like Saturday, then the second was on a Sunday. You know, the week starts on a Sunday. So I say the first week of March, between March 1st through the 5th, should be heavy panting, should be, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So around that time, we're gonna have everything in order. Gonna everything in order. So last litter, you guys, I did a, um, around Twitter I did fucking put Chloe in the pool. Which y'all know fucking Nyla, it's an XL, okay? So we have Nyla, I mean, Chloe is a standard. I took Chloe, Zeus is an XL too, he's just not that really tall, but he's like a, He's, he's definitely got the weight. He's bigger than Navy. He's just not that tall, but he's big. <coughs> he just don't have a height Navy guy, but he has, he's bigger than Navy. He's got more muscle mass, bigger head, bigger neck, but he's not as tall. Nyla is taller than Navy. So that goes back to the, the message that I gave to those people. Be specific. So if I would've took, if I would've took fucking Navy to Nyla, I would've got some double XL dogs which, because see, the, the, the litter usually is 65% mom, no matter what the fuck you got going on, no matter what type of male you got. If the mom is some shit, the puppies, nine times out of 10, probably gonna get two or three puppies that's fired. As y'all know, Chloe's structure is fired. Chloe is real standard, she's a real standard. Y'all seen him like straight, you know what I'm saying? Feet straight, yeah, straight back, you know what I'm saying? Ass a little, you know, it go right, her back go like this. And go down and they know that uppity shit. We don't got that. Zeus has a good rear too. So I am looking for something very specific. So I put Zeus with Chloe. I knew it couldn't be bad. My intentions, this was my intention. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I wanted Navy to go with Chloe to give me more more medium range dogs. I, I was trying to make more of Zeus's. You know what I'm saying? With Navy because he has a size. He has the length, the height, and shit like that, and he's going, you know, he's big. He has the height, but she is, and, he, and he's, his structure is fire. Y'all know Navy structure is 10 out of 10, damn nigga. I don't, he don't got a flaw. I ain't seen, every dog has a flaw, and the only thing you can say about Navy flaw is, in the bully world, is that he's skinny. So what, Chloe being short, small, put it with Navy, I'm hoping medium-sized dogs, because I know it's still 65% mom. So I know for sure the dogs won't be as tall as Navy. Unless some, you know what I'm saying, sometimes the fucking things just skip generations or whatever, blah, 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 might come out big. But I have I had no intentions on it coming out big. But Zeus with Chloe was unexpected, but it's still fire. Because I, like I told y'all before, Zeus is projected to be larger than Navy. Not taller. Not taller. Not more athletic. Not, not faster. None of that. He's just a bigger Bully and more bully, shorter, shorter snout, no overbite. I don't fuck with dogs with overbite shit like that. Um, so I, my, I was being very specific, but Zeus and Chloe came together. It's not gonna be a bad litter because neither one of my dogs are bad. Like I said, no matter what you breed with your shit, make sure your dogs are fire. My dogs are fire and they paper, paper fire. But Zeus and Nyla. 65% mom, as I told you, right? Nyla is damn near twice the size as Chloe. Nyla is larger than Zeus. Put that sink. Nyla larger than Zeus. Nyla twice the size as Chloe. Zeus, Nyla. 
big ass dogs, man. Bigger than maybe. The litter that Nyla and Zeus is, are going to have because she is pregnant, those dogs are projected to be larger than Navy. I'm being completely honest. And more bully. So I'm good with this litter. This litter going to be fire. Then, guess what I did, y'all? I'm not going to talk about it because I can't confirm it. But I'm just saying, man, whatever you want to do in this game, whatever game you want to be in, Make it specific to you. You know what I'm saying? Make it to, specific to what you're trying to do. I want medium-sized dogs. Like a little bit shorter than Navy. Just more bully. Navy, cool. I love tall dogs. I love athletic dogs. But I want more bully. I want more of chest spread. You know what I'm saying? I want more chest. Zeus has so much fucking chest. His legs can't... You can't put... If you were to put... Zeus' legs together, like, to make look, his shit will look like this. He's really, like, but he's he can move. As y'all can see, he can move, he can run, he's fast, and he can jump a little bit, but not, he's nothing like Navy. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like Navy. So, <coughs> so Niagara Navy, Niagara athleticism, drive, size, Zeus, strength, girth, Thickness, long coat, nothing can go wrong, literally. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing. Zeus and Chloe, I mean, Zeus and Nyla, nothing can go wrong. Now, Zeus, I mean, Nyla and Navy, I don't want no big ass tall dogs with, with skinny legs. I just, I don't want that. I don't want it. So I did, I went for something very specific, as you guys can see in Roxy. Roxy is very specific. Roxy has chest like Zeus. So when people want something real girthy, real structured, straight, you know, all my dogs got fucking good, good pastures, good feet, all that. But if you want thick ass, short, bully, standard XL, bully, like you want an XL with the frame of a standard, this litter is next, man. Nyla and Zeus. Can't beat it. Um, but yeah, shout out to the people that did buy dogs with from Zeus and Chloe. I, I'm finna go get one of the dogs right now. They they so fire. And they big as fuck. I don't know how they just big. I honestly don't know how they just big. It kind of made me think it was navies, but I know lilac and lilac make lilacs. And that's all that's in the litter. So I know it can't be navies, because navies are blue, fine. Navy is not a lilac. It wouldn't have been all lilacs. Navy do carry lilacs, but it wouldn't have been all lilacs. It would have been a brown in there, it would have been a blue in there, it would have been a black in there, it would have been a white, it would have been some other color. It wouldn't have been all lilacs. So I know for sure that it's Zeus's. I'm going to go get one of the puppies. I'm going to let y'all like, let y'all see how big this dog is. It's going to be eight weeks tomorrow. Let's see how big Nigel, Nigel, back, 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 back. Look at my big boy. Look at this boy, y'all. Nigel, back. Look at my big boy. Look at this boy. Look what the fuck Zeus, look what the fuck Zeus and Chloe did. I can't make this up, y'all. <laughs> look at this shit, look at the face. Look at the head. This dog is huge, bro. This this is my boy. That's my boy. This is my keeper, y'all. If you didn't know, this is my keeper. And I am keeping a male because I want something in my yard that I produce. Like, if you guys don't know, whenever you do A B whenever you register a dog back, whenever you register a dog with ABKC, even though you register under your name, that dog is still under the other people's name. Like, like Zeus is shit. Zeus shit say cyber bullies. First, you know what I'm saying? Then it's Cyber Bully Zeus, but it's registered to me because I sent them my paper and went to all my fucking papers back. It says 
cyberbully Zeus, right? He will say MBF Kennel, whatever I name him. I haven't named him yet. He's going to say MBF Kennel, whatever I name him. So I want something in my yard that's, even when I'm doing my breeding and shit, my line breeding, it says MBF Kennel to MBF Dog. You know what I'm saying? Not Cyber Kennels to. Let me show y'all, man. I'm not going to actually show y'all paper because there's specific numbers on these papers that people could use and try to still, you know, do registration shit that they're not supposed to be doing. So, like Navy shit say. Navy shit say Burn Nation K9s Navy. You know what I'm saying? Because he's from Burn Nation. Um, the dude I got Roxy from, he ain't put it in. So he fucked up. So Roxy gonna say NBA Roxy. <laughs> he should have put it in. Um, where I got Nyla from, it says Res Reppin', and then I gotta put Nyla name on there. Res Reppin' Nyla. I gotta put Nyla name on there. I already did it. And I already sent one in. This is just to like one of the, this is a temporary slip. Um, but I haven't said Nyla's in. I gotta send Nyla's in now too, cause she confirmed pregnant. I should have been done it, but I would wait till she confirmed. So now she confirmed, now I know she's pregnant. I'm gonna send this in. So it's gonna say Res Reppin' Bullies, Nyla. And for Zeus, it says Cyber Bullies, Zeus. So I'm keeping him in my yard because I want, I want something to say NBF, huh? MBL, so I'm keeping a male and a female from Chloe and uh, Chloe and um, Chloe and Zeus's. I'm keeping a male and a female, and I call them twins because they down there the same size and they have white marks on their face, and they both big as fuck. So I'm keeping a male and a female from this litter. Also, I'm keeping a female. Um, I'm keeping a female from that litter, and if, probably. I'm, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If a male real nice in that motherfucker, I'm gonna do a co-ownership with the largest male in there. I'm gonna do a co-ownership so I can do a breed back deal with the biggest male in that litter. But I'm only gonna keep a female from that litter and then we're so on and so forth. I'm just, we, I want y'all full of females. Unless I got some crazy ass male that I produce, then I keep that one too, like him. Like he's the largest of the litter. There's no way I'm getting rid of him. Mm -mm. Hey. It's my boy. Y'all gotta help me name him, man. He just had a little introduction with Nyla. But Nyla's hormonal. I will let him out, let him down and play with Nyla. But she has nipples. And their nipples are pretty long. Like he would he may think that there's milk in there. And first off, she didn't have him, okay? She didn't burst him. I don't want him thinking he could do that. Second, she's pregnant and she's hormonal. I don't want her attacking my boy or, you know what I'm saying, out of some hormone shit. So, we won't do no, I'm not letting him down with or no shit like that. So, but yeah, man, this is my, this is one of my keepers. And, um, I'm going to show you guys the female keeper later. It's, it's, it's two of them in there that's so big that I just can't decide on which one to keep. But I already took the one that I'm for sure, that I'm probably 90% going to keep. I took her, uh, I took her off the off the website and off my Instagram because I don't want people trying to, you know, put in deposits on her. Look at this. Also, she may be available um, once I see Chloe. I mean, once I see Nyla and Zeus later. Like, shit. He might be available too. If they let her come out what I'm thinking is going to come out. No, I'm still going to keep it. Hey, <laughs> hey, dude. He's just too good. Like, he's... He's too calm. As y'all see, he's not doing a lot of running around because he's in my arms. Like once I'm holding him, he don't do all this. But the moment I put him down, he goes into full attack mode, which is perfect. Like it's like the perfect dog. Look how he is. When I'm holding him, he's like a like it just it's it's perfect, man. I can't explain it. That's why I love to breathe so much. They love to be cuddled, they love to be held. But when they not held and cuddled, they they act like regular dogs. They be fucking running around, jumping, fighting, all type of shit. But they're good, so. But yeah, this is my keeper son. Help me name him. So yeah, man. Um, I made this video just to let y'all guys, let you guys know that Nyla and Zeus is confirmed. Also, um, whatever you trying to do in this business, man, just be specific to whatever you got going on. It don't matter. You not don't try to chase a certain look from somebody else. What they got going on because that's their shit. 
If you're trying to look like another breeder, why would the fuck would somebody buy a dog from you when they can just go to that breeder, you know what I mean, and get a dog? So be specific. Uh, I'm also going to get his ears, him and his sister ears cropped. So we're going to do that too. He and his sister will begin their ears cropped. So my keepers on my own cropping their ears. Hey, dude. And moving forward, um, Nyla and Zeus litter. I'm cropping all their ears. So if you don't want your dog ear crop from Nyla and Zeus, if you if you jump on this video, because y'all are the first to know this, you jump on this video right now and you see this video, I'm letting you guys know I'm cropping all future litters. Unless somebody jump on the video when I announce a breeding that's confirmed, tell me, hey, I want a dog um, from the senior deposit right now. And whenever the dog is coming, I pick my pick. Don't crop his ears. Other than that, I'm cropping the ears, man. Not doing that. Not this is serious. This is my. This is my. This is my shit, man. I do what I want to. So, and before you buy a dog, they all belong to me. So if you don't want a dog crop ears, you better you better buy them before I crop them. Cause other than that, you know, at the end of the day, mine. All right, I'm out, y'all. Peace out, NBF.